breathe into me You inherit me Go on, go on, people, names. Um, so I've just finally watched um, Stan Walker's Maori Kita Ao, Maori Kita Ao, um, which was just what tune, man, what tune. And then when you find out what is layered with and what it means, tune. Um, but if you've been following me for a while, then you know that I've been watching Stan Walker and going back to his American. Why is American Idol so much in my mouth? It's not the pain me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Australian Idol. And he... So I watched all of that journey and he absolutely smashed it. It was so, 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 so good. Um, but because of that, it meant there's a lot of stuff I've not seen yet. So there's a few of his documentaries that I want to watch and find out just a bit more about him. But I also m meant that I've missed some of his performances for things like I Am. So the one performance I did see of him doing that, he actually gave a bit of a... He's a bit of a... Not, not a massive interview, but they were talking to him after it anyway. And that was great. I really enjoyed that. But this looks like he's in a studio. And I think I have seen this flash up, but I haven't been able to watch it because I'm like, well, I'm not watching anything more new mm -mm, until I've gone back and finished his Australian Idol journey. So I've now done that. So... We're now free game with, the free, with all the new stuff. Ah! <laughs> so this is I Am, Stan Walker, in what looks like a studio. We are the colour Felt in the spring the wind breathe into me you inherit me
suruh bawa mau kia tina. Tina. Hum ye hu ye tai kie. You know what? Um. I think I love Sam Walker. I think, I think, I think I do. I think, uh, I think I do. I think he is so freaking incredible, man. And do you know what's really like almost weird? I feel like because obviously most people that have known him or known about him for years, I've had time to kind of you know adjust from seeing him on Australian Idol to this dude here like but this is what happened for me in a matter of weeks and months so it it it's just i'm looking at him and like like physically he like he looks different like i mean it's still him obviously but like physically he looks different um you know this 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 felt um arty looking like really cool because you know I, 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 i'll be honest i wasn't a fan of all the waistcoats <laughs> i wasn't a fan of all the waistcoats but you know i had a few friends of mine that did the same thing back in that time as well with the long t-shirt and the and the waistcoat like i mm, 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 was a big fan of that but you see this like i, I don't know this era of him is such an it, it's He's just such an artist, man. Like, and, and and looking at him in this setting, this scenario, this studio session where he's singing his own non-pop manufactured song, which again, look, every song and everything that's got him to this point right here is exactly what meant to happen. And actually without those kind of things, who knows where he would have been. Do you know what I mean, like that platform has helped him you know, become who he is today. Do you know what I mean? And actually, Black Box, when I first heard it, I very much was like, I don't know what Michael Bublé's on about. I don't think it's... Uh, but actually, that, when I heard him sing it when he was winning, I'm like, do you know what, actually? A little Black Box, little... little, little. I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. But as he was singing this song, all I kept thinking was, wow, what a far cry it is from Black Box to this song. But everything is a journey, isn't it? Because, you know, you don't come... You, uh, unless you're very lucky and you've got the backing of people that, you know, like a prince, for example, and again, he's been in my mind a lot. He, uh, from his his first album that he wrote himself, that he produced himself, that he played all the instruments himself, unless that you've got that kind of backing from someone to let you do something like that, then actually a lot of the things that you're going to end up having to do in this whole music industry game are going to be things that maybe aren't necessarily really true to who your artistry is going to be. And also as well, it's fair to say that some people may not even know what their artistry is going to be until going through certain things and be like, actually, that's not really, I'm not really feeling that. There's more in me here. I've got something to say. So to be able to produce a song like this that is so powerful, and I'm not, I'm not even just talking about like the lyrics, but because the lyrics of this song are so big and important. But like his vocals on it, what he does with it, but not just him, the backing vocals, the 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 musicians, the instruments, the swelling, the 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 chorus. It's such a a powerful beat. Like you've got me standing up there, being like, "Yo, I wanna I wanna march with you, fam. <laughs> I wanna march with you." I just think he's sick. I just think he's amazing. I think he looks amazing. He sounds amazing. And this song is so, like it's such a important song and I think this leading into Ma Maori um Kiteo like it, it there's such a synergy between the two of them. Do you know what I mean? I've been like this is who I am and this is this is who we're gonna continue to be, you know, and I think that's just a real is it, it it gives me the same kind of um feeling as Bob Marley's like get up, stand up mm -mm -mm -mm, stand up for your rights. Like that whole you know, be proud of who you are. Don't let don't let don't let things walk all over you. Um, but even more so because I feel like, for me at least anyway, this is a it's an area of the world that like I just haven't really spent much time in like knowing much about. So it's just a real eye opener to what struggles have been there, and I guess what he's doing to, 
I guess shine a light for people in terms of you know what 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 we are and what we can be. Uh, and I am was obviously the first step in doing that. So yeah, I think that was amazing. Really, really awesome. I can't wait to watch the rest of the live stuff that he's got on here. I really cannot, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pause that there. So I've got a few other things to get to today. But for now, thank you so much for watching with me. Like, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy my reaction, then please do drop me a like and subscribe. I'd be very, very, very grateful. Uh, and again, if you do want to have access to these kind of videos before everybody else and the end of the curve, <laughs> um, then come and join me over on Patreon where all my videos get uploaded there first. Um, and there are some videos that actually will never see YouTube, like, ever. Um, but yeah, and also, it's a great way to help support the channel because I'm doing this full time now. So, yes, if you did enjoy them, like I said, please join me over there. I'll welcome you with open arms. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next. Oh. <laughs>